What's up Cycling Republic? My name is Kalex Snyder and today I'm going to give you 10 tips that are proven to be able to help your recovery quite fast. Now, number one is to map your route. You need to be able to map your route anytime that you're going on a ride. That is using Strava, using Komoot and also any other app that you need so that you can be able to plan your elevation, your distance and also the amount of time that is going to take you to complete that ride because you don't want to end up surprising yourself doing a two hour ride yet you wanted to do a one hour for a 30 minute ride. Number two, it is nutrition. Eat enough food before the ride. Now, by this I mean you need to have enough carbohydrates, enough proteins and also enough fats in your body to be able to push you through the long ride. Once you're done with that, you need to be able to eat one hour also before the ride. One hour before the ride will ensure that your body is properly fueled to be able to take you all through the journey. And if you're going past one hour, you need to be able to carry some snacks, around 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. That is the amount of carbs that you need to be able not to bonk or not to burn out. Number two, you, number three, you need to be able to check your bike. Uh, that the gear ratio is correct, because if you want to go to Kiambu, for example, or Kirigiti, you know that the hills there are crazy. So you need to have a gear ratio that can be able to comply with those hills. Let's say a 32T and a, a 3211T or a 36 or a 34 50 all those matter a lot in bike gear ratio once you're done with that you need to be able to stretch you need to make sure that your legs are ready for that ride because you don't want to go and start your ride and your legs are still cold you're going to burn out after one hour 30 minutes because your legs weren't ready do proper uh, stretches that you can find them online with apps or play store and do all those before you go for a ride at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes once you're done with stretching, you need to be able to start warming up. You need to pick your bike and now go for your ride. At least make sure the place you're going to train is around 20 minutes uh, distance from your home so that you can be able to properly warm up your legs correctly. And uh, with the warm up, you're still going to do the warm down after your ride. Now, after you've already warmed up, you need to now to go for your ride, which is hilly or which is downhill or which is flat, wherever you choose. You need also to warm down for those 20 minutes. Don't speed. Just make sure you're spinning your legs correctly. After that, you need to be able now to stretch. Stretch your legs, make sure that your legs are properly light. Because after stretching and after warming down, you'll feel your legs are a bit lighter than they were when you are doing your ride. And I bet you're still going to pace yourself as you're riding your bike. You don't want to pace yourself and end up getting tired even before you finish it. Once you've, you've warmed down and you've stretched, now you need to go and take a bath to be able to help you cool down even much further. Once you've, you've done that, you need now to eat. Once you've eaten your food, which needs also to have more carbs, more protein, and also a bit of fats. Once you've done with that, now you need to sleep because there's nothing else that you need to do after that. You've already done your ride for the day and you've already finished it. So as long as you've put into consideration those 10 points, number one, map your route. Number two, nutrition. Number three, bike check. Number four, stretch. Number five, warm, warm up. Number six, you go for your ride. Number seven, you warm down as you're coming back. Number eight, you stretch. Number nine, you eat. Number ten, you bathe. And then you're finally good to sleep. And with that, I bet you're going to improve your recovery rides for longer. And you're going to do every ride every single day after that. So thank me later. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below in the comment section. I've been your guy, Kali Snyder, and this is Cycling Republic.